guys, we're going to do a Kenny Burrell, S, uh, I think it comes from Kenny Burrell, I think it's off the album Midnight Blue, and uh, it's going to use, uh, and, a, and I heard Steve Ray Vaughan use it as well, and we'll do it in the key of A again, keep everything in the good old key of A, people's key of A, and uh, it goes like this. <laughs> going to bar your first finger across the uh, fifth fret on the E, B, and G string. Okay? And you're going to, now what you need to do is you need to, you can do this a number of ways. You can play with your thumb and first finger. Oh, I do it as I play pick and fingers. Okay? So my pick is going to play the G string, and then my ring finger right here is going to play the first string. and then I'm going to play my middle finger with on the first ring. I'm going to take my third finger and put it on the 7th fret on that same string on the G string using the same grip that I'm using with my right hand then 8th fret, okay, so we have a minor 3rd I've always got this A in there, okay, it's almost like a pedal point and then you're going to go to 7 then 8 is an A on the D string. And then what I can do as well is I can do a little shot here, just having that first finger bar across, and I just take the pick and I just go across it. So I have, I have this now. Works over a minor chord, work over a dumb and seventh chord. Something else you can do is you can hammer on. So I can hammer on. When I go five, seven, eight, I can hammer on. You want that hammer on to come pretty, pretty much uh, same um, volume as the rest. It's gonna be it's a bit tough. Something else you can do is you can pull it off. You can do have that five, and you're gonna pull eight, five, uh, sorry, eight, seven, five. But I'm only gonna pick it once. Steve Ray Vonlich. I hope that helps, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.